Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, a new really cheap method to coloring your Death's Oath. So the first thing to know is that Death's Oath is a pure strength chess piece, uh, which means that 95% of the time that you're coloring it, it's going to be red. Uh, and it can be very expensive to try to get, for example, five off colors. Um, now, the reason why I don't have the six off color yet, well, no. you don't need six off colors. The sixth one would be red, which is the easiest, uh, is I just need to get like 200 more jewelers and then I'm fine. So uh, one thing to note is that this method I'm going to be explaining is going to be using the new uh, syndicate feature. And you can do it at a pretty low level. It doesn't really have a level requirement, so you don't have to worry about being endgame or anything. You just are going to need Verici in research. Now, there are also other methods to doing this, but I personally prefer this method. There is the, uh, for example, doing the temple and getting tier three corruption, and then uh, I think it's this one, and then double corrupting it for a chance at six white sockets. The reason why I don't like that method is one, I'm playing like solo cell found slash group found, so there's only one death's oath, and that's really it that I have. And two, if you do that and it bricks, then it's gone. And if you do it and it blows up, then it's also gone. This method I'm going to show you has 0% chance at booming up your chess piece. So if it fails, you can just reattempt it again, and it's very, very cheap. So the first thing to know um, in starting this is you're going to take your Death's Oath, and you are just simply going to put it in this tab, and you're going to type in the jewelers. So if you don't know where to, or not jewelers, sorry, you're going to type in socket. If you don't know where to get sockets, if you guys are familiar with Delve, uh, I believe you find two socket through five socket on Delve, and I think it's only through like really low level clusters slash Azurite. It's not like that crazy. It's like you, you pretty much do like the tier three, the tier two to the tier one. You'll see the crafting post. You click it and you have it. And with the off colors I'm currently using now with just five off colors and not even a six socket, you can clear all maps. No problem. Um, in terms of like the damage of the death aura. It's like five socket now is basically what six socket was before because of the new node scaling, if not even more. So after you've got just two sockets, what I recommend for you to do is do green and blue. It's 15 chromes, it's really cheap. Um, so you just do green and blue and then bam. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do three socket. So then you wanna go to your socket, you type in three, you add the third. So you're going for blue, green, blue, green. You don't really want anything else. It doesn't matter where the greens are. You just want two green and two blue for your first four colors. So after you have green, green, blue, blue, or whatever combination of them, you wanna go ahead and add your fifth socket. Now, when you're adding your fifth socket, it's 70 jewelers per attempt. So it's, it's pretty fucking difficult um, to try to get the colors you want. And again, if you're confused at how this works, um, simply put, when you add your third socket, when it's red, you're just gonna click back to two sockets, it removes the red, and then it goes back here and keeps these colors. You add again, remove, add, remove, add, remove, add, remove. 100 attempts on that is like 130 jewelers, which is nothing. Or not 100, sorry, 10 attempts. I probably get it within 10 to 15 attempts. And then you're gonna do the same thing for this socket. So after you have your desired colors here, you're gonna go ahead and add your fifth socket. Now, when your fifth socket is red, which, you know, like I said, 9.5 times out of 10, it's gonna be red, you're gonna leave it there. So you're gonna have your four off colors plus your red socket. So imagine this was green, blue, green, blue, red. At that point, you want to go to your syndicate farming. So in your syndicate, it's important to get Verici under the research tab. So I'm gonna pull up a little chart for you guys really fast to show how this works. So when Verici, is in research, he adds white sockets to your gear. The important thing is, typically when you're getting white sockets, the only way for the most part is corrupting an item. If you corrupt an item, it is now corrupted, you cannot modify it in any type of way unless you spend a ridiculous amount of currency with Verici. Well, we're not gonna be doing that. So we're gonna try to get Verici inside here with research. Ideally, you would want him three star. If you wanna be even more fail proof, you would do three star as the captain uh, because then you get two attempts. I got mine with just simply a one star Verici uh, and I'm gonna explain how you do it now. So when you're at Verici and you've got your colors, you're gonna put it in the crafting bench and you're gonna click craft. So if you color the red socket white, you automatically win because now you have green, blue, green, blue, 
blue because you need three blue two green one red right and then you just add six socket red so you're done you're already finished if you only get one color and it rolls blue then it kind of sucks a little bit because you need three blue so that white socket is still a blue if that makes sense but if you roll the white socket on a green then it's not as good as rolling it on a red but it's still good because here's what happens when you uh when you have it the way i have right this was green blue green this was green blue blue green so when i go to my sockets and i add the fifth socket i can take either a green socket or a blue socket because this white socket counts as both right this can either double up for three green which doesn't work or it could double up and get another blue so this cuts your your chances of fucking up significantly because you can have either green or blue if you don't have a white socket you have to pick one specifically you can't just you can't just use the wrong colors it doesn't work that way so tldr corrupt with verici not corrupt add white socket with verici hit a green socket and you're super fine hit the red socket and you're you're you know good to go now if it doesn't work and you do the verici method remember that you cannot add more white sockets to a piece of gear with white sockets so what do you do you do exactly what you did before you're going to put your death oath in the crafting bench you're going to go to socket and you're going to remove here all the way back up to two sockets because you need to clear the white socket so you just remove to two and then you re-add three and you re-add four and you re-add five and you attempt with verici again there is a very good chance that you're either going to hit the red socket and win or hit a green socket and any additional white sockets you get, I'm pretty sure could work towards it as well. So that's one really nice thing to note. Then the location of where you get your six socket is going to be inside Delve. If you go to your Delve, if you go to your Delve and you open up this chart, um, you see this, this is called a Vol Outpost. It's not this one. There's another one, I think it's called like an Abyssal Outpost or something. It basically, it's like a green looking box, I believe. Um, not these gold ones. When you go inside there, you're gonna see the crafting recipe. You just have to go and click it. After you go down, you know, you submerge yourself and you're pretty much done. And then you got your six socket recipe. And then all you gotta do is add six socket and there's a 95% chance that it's red. If it does decide to roll blue or green, you kind of got fucked and there's not really much that you can do about that i guess in this instance if i rolled it and it went blue i would still be okay because i have my white socket so i would be blue 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 green green red so as long as it doesn't roll green for me then i'm technically totally fine so an example of how i farm syndicates uh, i want to go ahead and show you guys i farm my syndicates in blood aqueduct you can see i've got 20 humility cards after turning in i think like three sets um, so let me go ahead and put on uh, actually two sets. Let me show you guys how we do it. One, two, three, four, five. And the colors you, well, the uh, links you want are really simple. There's really not much you can change. You're going to want Arcane Surge, Conk Effect, Efficacy, Void Manipulation, Swift Affliction, less duration the only thing you can swap out because there's not much that works with that's earth you can use an item quantity if you're playing standard you can use an item rarity and you can use ink aoe and that's it i don't really recommend those over the current things but you know everyone likes to play their own way so that's really all you've got for flexibility if you do not use arcane surge you do not get access to duration based support gems as an example you can see my death aura right here when I put in less duration, it doesn't do anything. When I put in Swift Affliction, it doesn't do anything. The second you put in Arcane Surge, it gets the duration tag. It now benefits from duration. So Swift Affliction works and less duration works. Let's go ahead and do some quick little blood aqueduct farming so I can show you guys how I do my syndicates. Uh, the places I would recommend is like Harbor Bridge, which is Act 8 right here. Uh, blood aqueducts, which is my personal favorite. And then I know a lot of people like to do Ossuary. I think it's here or here. Let's 
fortification. And done. That's Ferici. Good. Piece of candy. Fortification again. You picked the wrong job. I want a little more. The tapestry. Mm -hmm. And fortification again. Did you forget our deal so quickly? How your time? I don't think. How often? Absolutely not. The tapestry. Oopsies, that was too much of an exit. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much about it and how the method works. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and or hop on my stream at twitch.tv slash pox. I've pretty much only used like maybe 600 jewelers max to get the colors I want. So we're looking at less than a thousand jewelers to get all perfect colors, like no problem. And I even had to remove because I, I messed up, not messed up, but uh, Verici basically rolled a blue socket white so I couldn't really do it so I had to like reset and do it again um, so yeah it's a very cheap very efficient method totally recommend it uh, and yeah that's pretty much about it hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves remember if you liked the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and uh, hope you guys like the new webcam that I can't use yet because it still lags my computer for some reason when playing PoE uh, but anyway I'll catch you guys later take care everybody